Right then guys, we got some good news relating to his royal wokeness, the Prince of Soy, and he split from the royal family. As most of you will know, he lost his titles when he left the royals, including military ones, but he had hoped to be given some of them back when the review was due to be done next year. But it seems this has already been dashed thanks to his weasel worded video recently interfering in the US election by supporting Joe Biden. I expect you won't need three guesses to figure out who made him do this, I am sure. Now the Express have picked up on this, so let's check it out and have a quick gloat. It headlines, Prince Harry lost titles close to his heart because he intervened in the US election, which I have to say brings nice warm feelings to my heart. Prince Harry crossed the line when he openly discussed US politics in a recent video, which is why the Duke will not be reinstated as head of the Royal Marines, it is claimed. Prince Harry had to step down as Captain General of the Royal Marines when he officially quit as a senior royal at the end of March. The loss of his military titles was reportedly devastating for the Duke and it has now emerged the palace is not looking to reinstate Harry's titles at the end of his 12 month review. Which is obviously going to be a bit of a burn to him and I've got to say good, he doesn't deserve them after all the shit he has been chatting about the UK in recent weeks and months, of course spurred on by his lefty spunk trumpet Meghan. It continues, Prince William is set to replace his younger brother as the new head of the Royal Marines, which will obviously get Prince Harry and Meghan Markle slightly salty. The move, confirmed by senior Royal Navy sources last night, anticipates the outcome of Prince Harry's 12-month review will find no reason to alter current arrangements. Interestingly, a Royal expert has said the Duke's recent comments on the upcoming US President election may have contributed to the status quo. Commenting on plans for Prince William to become the new Captain General of the Royal Marines Richard Palmer, royal correspondent at the Daily Express said, The headline in the paper doesn't mention Harry, but it will undoubtedly be a blow to him if this happens. Which of course it will be, apparently there's a little bit of salt going on between Prince William and the Prince of Soy. Which is why personally, I think it's even funnier if Prince William gets it, I hope it really pisses Harry off. It continued, the Sussex intervention in the US president election, no matter how carefully worded, was deemed by palace officials to have crossed a line. It is likely to have effects. Last month, Meghan and Harry appeared in a video in which they seemingly endorsed Joe Biden to win November's presidential election. No, they literally endorsed him, there's no seemingly about it. Meghan urged Americans to vote in the most important election of our lifetime, while Harry told voters to reject hate speech, misinformation and online negativity, which I have to say are rather con contradicting each other. She is essentially screaming for them to vote Biden while he's saying you should reject the Democrats because they're full of hate speech, misinformation and online negativity. It continues, a review of the lefty spunk trumpet and the Prince of Soy's arrangements will take place next March, a year after the couple quit as senior royals. The terms of the split will be evaluated to see what is working and what isn't. It has also left the door open for Harry and Meghan to return to royal life, which obviously they ain't gonna do, they will get slated by the entire country. Which is exactly what it says here, but the couple have started to carve out a new life in California, so are not expected to return to the royal fold. Yeah, apparently she wants to play some princesses in some Disney films or some shit. The loss of Harry's military titles was agreed during the Sandringham Summit, where the Duke discussed the terms of his split from the royal family with the Queen, Prince of Charles and Prince William. Buckingham Palace said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex understand that they are required to step back from royal duties, including official military appointments. And given the bullshit he has come out with over the past few months he should never be allowed anywhere near them again. The decision to formally replace him will come as a blow to Harry who is said to have hoped to resume his ceremonial duties. In March, just before his move to Canada, he reportedly told the Commandant General Royal Marines Matthew Holmes that he was devastated that I am having to step down, adding, I feel I'm letting people down but I had no choice. Yeah, his royal wokeness, the Prince of Soy, literally had no choice because his lefty spunk trumpet forced him to do it, in my opinion. I don't know if that's true but it would seem that way if you ask me. It continues, though the soy boy technically continues to hold the rank of Captain General, under the terms of his agreement he is not allowed to use his military appointments as they are a gift of the Sovereign, which is obviously going to be another bit of a burn to him and I've got to say I'm very happy about that. This guy literally deserves fuck all. The agreement also states no new appointments will be made to fill these roles before the 12 month review of the new arrangements is completed, but an insider said plans are already being made. The source told the 
Sunday Telegraph, the corps is in effect without a captain general and we must really get on and fill this role, said the source last night. The decision has been made to invite Prince William to take over the important duty, largely on the basis that the Duke of Sussex has given no reason to believe that he will alter current arrangements, quite the opposite in fact. And as I've said already, given all he's come out with in the recent months, thanks to his lefty spunk trumpet, this cannot be allowed. He should never be allowed to come back to the UK and start up just like nothing happened. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>